You're watching Utah's number one news channel. This is 2 News at 5. A computer web developer creating a very unique type of art that brings fascination to all ages. It has to do with a lot of wood, a lot of tracks, and a lot of small rolling balls. Tonight we take you inside the story of the kinetic artist. Yeah, Dan Rascone is live. Dan, um, sounds kind of interactive. Yeah, it really is here, Mark and Sean, and that's what makes this kind of art so much fun here. Carl Hale says he wanted to create something that people don't just look at and admire, but something they can actually handle and interact with. Carl Hale, the web developer, is really Carl Hale, the woodworker. And this is really fun. But he's not making cabinets or furniture. Circles are fun. He's making art. Art that has to do with steel balls rolling down tracks and through mazes and into wood dishes. He calls it kinetic art or rolling ball sculpture. It's freaking awesome is what it is. I want people to notice the art. I want people when they're not looking for art, see a piece and be engaged. Each sculpture starts from a basic piece of wood and then hours and hours are spent cutting and sanding and drilling to make sure everything lines up just right. Carl says he was getting bored with his day job as a web developer. I needed a stress reliever, actually. And this was the answer. This is why I triple check it. But the computer and scientific training does come in handy when designing. It has been absolutely invaluable. So how does a guy go from coding websites to building something like this? According to Carl, it all started in sixth grade when he says he had marble runs running through his head. I think part of it is the the challenge of the physics. How do you get a little marble from the bottom to the top and then back down again? I made this guy first. And from this first model, we have the spheres, the planets. Carl just kept building more. Around in their rotation. This is called dust double. And more. And more. Whoa. This one, called One Eternal Round, is definitely. It even rings the bell, huh? A showstopper. <laughs> at the three-level, 45,000-square-foot Springville Museum, where it is featured. Isn't that cool? It's one continuous ball ride with a crank and elevator lift that sends the balls down three separate tracks. One includes a slide. I wanted it to jump. I wanted it to fly through the air. Another, a song. Hear it? It's your doorbell. And the other track? I wanted to play with the, the circular motion. This one took about 300 hours to make. I wanted to engage people who maybe didn't even think about art. But his masterpiece is behind closed doors at the LDS Church's museum that's being renovated. This is nearly five feet tall and four feet wide and took 1,100 hours to make and is called Tell Me the Stories of Jesus. This kind of artwork. I am fascinated by the intersections of things. Brings emotion to Carl. When I can take the materials that that God did such a masterful job making. And I can put them together into something that's never been created, never been seen. And that's why all the hard work makes it all worthwhile. Art is how we express concepts, beliefs that words just can't do. Yeah, pretty fascinating there. Now, right now, Carl has about a half a dozen types of pieces he's created. He says they range in price from anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to thousands of dollars, depending on the twist and turns and the difficulty of making it. And all kind of have a little bit of message behind them, too. Now, for a link to his website, you go to our website at KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the Story. But just hours and hours of work to just create one little twist or turn. So Crazy. Pretty amazing. He's uh, passionate about it. He really sure. is. All right, Dan, pretty right. interesting. Thanks.